Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This was actually meant to be the third video this year, however, I was slightly ill. So this is the first video, so Happy New Year, even though it is way too late to be saying that. But today, I'm going to be doing What's in My Camera Bag 2023. This is the Peter McKinnon Everyday Camera Bag. Since my second video, I wanted this camera bag, and a month ago, I bought it. And uh, I'm very excited to show you what I have inside. So I think what we're gonna do is start at what Peter McKinnon called the loft. Um, now, this is the bit at the top of the bag that I can just, wrong zips. <laughs> This is a bit of the top of the bag that I can unzip and then I fold down to reveal what's inside. Now, at the moment I have the microphone on top of the camera, but I normally keep that in here and I will show some B-roll of what that looks like. Because I'm using it, I can't show you it while I'm filming this angle. And then, what else we have in here is this. And this is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. It's a great little tripod to be honest. Previously I was using the Switch Pod, but now I will be using this Mantis Pod. I, this actually only arrived the other day, um, but it folds out into a tripod just like the Switch Pod does, apart from it's a much smaller footprint and it's a lot lighter. It's got an Arca Swiss uh, style head on it, which means that the uh, Arca Swiss plate on the bottom of my camera just clips straight into there don't have to waste any time screwing anything down uh, and uh, then it's ready to go on there. Now when I fold this down I have a little pocket on this door here uh, and in there I keep this Samsung T7 one terabyte uh, SSD uh, and on here I keep everything that comes off of this camera whether that's photos or video so the footage that you're watching right now will be stored on here forever. There's a pocket on the sides of, uh, well, on each side of the loft here, uh, and in the one pocket, just temporarily when I'm not using the bag, um, I keep my Peak Design capture clip, uh, which I did make a video about in October. But essentially, this clip allows me to either strap it to my bag strap on my chest or on my belt, and then the Arca Swiss plate in the bottom of my camera uh, can just slot in there, and then I can be hands-free with my camera just on my chest. So that's a really great way to free up your hands when I'm vlogging. Now before we go inside the bag, there is one more thing on the exterior that I need to talk to you about, and that is around the side here, there's a little pocket Let's zoom back out. There's a little pocket here, um, and in there I keep my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. Uh, and this is the powerhouse of everything that I do essentially. Um, I edit on here videos and photos, uh, and it's also at the moment my main computer for my home setup. Now I'm really excited to actually get inside the bag because the Peter McKinnon bag comes with a cube system and I will show you what that is right now. So what we do is we unzip the bag and then when we open it, we're greeted with this. At the top here, you have a little access door to that loft where I keep my microphone and my Mantis pod. And that comes in super handy so that I don't have to keep changing the orientation of the bag to access different parts. But the main part that is really exciting is this area right here. Um, now in here, we have cubes. So I can take out a cube and I can just hold it right here and it's got some stuff in it. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is take away the bag for now uh, and just have the cubes on the side. So now I've got the cubes laid out in front of me, I'm much more free to actually show you all of this gear without having the bag on the desk taking up a load of space. And that is what I love about this bag, it allows you to uh, pack your bag without having your bag with you. So the bag could be on the other side of the room wherever I store it um, and I could have these cubes out, I could pack the cubes in a drawer and then when I'm ready to go 
I can pick and choose what I need for that shoot and I can whack it in the bag and off I go. What I'm going to start with is my camera, which I funnily forgot in the last camera bag video that I did. I, I obviously can't show you my camera because I'm using it right now. So I'm going to be showing you over B-roll uh, as we speak right now and you'll see it in the camera cube and you'll see it coming out of the camera cube. The Canon 90D has served me so well over the past few years. All I've done is vlog on it and take photos and it produces great photos and great video with the correct lighting um, but that is a hardware issue because I don't have expensive lenses. <laughs> okay so next I'm going to be showing you my lenses uh, and what we have here the first lens is the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter and uh, I think it's the STM version of the lens. This has actually served me really well, the same as the Canon 90D has, because this is the kit lens that I bought with the camera. It's a great focal length, it's great for whether or not you want to do uh, tight shots or wide shots. Um, the 18mm is what I actually used for a while before I got this lens for vlogging. It's probably my favourite lens out of the three that I have. This is the Canon 75-300mm to 300 millimeter lens. Uh, it's a, a great lens uh, if you need to zoom. It's, uh, it's actually uh, got quite the focal length on it, 300 millimeters on the APS-C size sensor. Uh, it zooms pretty far. Okay, so next I'm going to be talking about the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Um, I actually have this one connected to the camera right now, which is what you're watching me on. Uh, so again, I can't show you this in this footage, but I can show you in the B-roll. Now this lens has revolutionized my vlogs. Uh, everywhere I go, when I'm talking to the camera, I use this lens because it's nice and wide. As you can see, uh, it's brilliant for talking to the camera when I'm holding it in my hand because it means that I don't have to stretch my arm out as much and I still have a load of space around me so that when you're watching my vlogs, you can see what's going on around me. But next, what I'm going to be talking about is this, and this is Earth Filters. Earth is a brilliant company, uh, very sustainable, everything you buy goes towards planting trees. This is a great way to house lens filters. Um, so these filters I've got, uh, you can see in the light there, um, I've got three filters in there and they're all screwed together like this so that whenever I need them um, I can just attach them all together, throw them in my camera cube and then they're all there in this nice small compact size. This is actually the Explorer lens kit if you needed to know. They do a lot of other kits uh, with a lot of other filters um, so the link will be in the description to the website just go and have a look. In this kit it comes with an ND filter uh, that has eight f-stops, uh, it has a UV filter, and it also has a circular polarizer, which is great for cutting out reflections or bringing out the blue in the sky or the water. It, it's a really good kit. That's all I can say about it, it's really good. Okay, so next I'm gonna be talking about another lens filter. Uh, again, this one is from Earth, uh, and this one is literally just the same as the ND filter that is in the Explorer kit, except this one fits on this lens, and I can actually do a demonstration of what it does right now. And I'll just screw it onto the lens, and as you can see, it's darkened the image a little bit, and if you don't know what an ND filter is, it's essentially just sunglasses for the camera. So this is what it looks like when it's on, and this is uh, f-stop 2, um, and it goes all the way up to f-stop 8, and you can see, <laughs> It completely darkens the image and it's just to cut out that really harsh light if you were filming in harsh sunlight so that you can get the correct exposure. Next thing that's in my bag is this and this is just an SD card holder. Um, it just clips open and then you have your SD cards on the inside. At the moment, what I use is Amazon Basics uh, SD cards. I've got three that are 256 gig uh, because I find that's all I really need. Uh, I'm not one of these traveling photographers or videographers that goes out and is filming constantly. I make a few vlogs a year. So those Amazon Basics SD cards are perfect for my needs. So the next thing we have 
is this incredibly cheap, <laughs> um, this incredibly cheap knockoff GoPro charger. And that goes hand in hand with this pouch that I have here. This pouch actually came with a load of guitar picks in it that I bought when I needed to replace my guitar picks. But what I keep in there now is two GoPro batteries um, and uh, this little charger, it, it's really cheap and it feels really cheap. Um, but I just got it off Amazon because I didn't want to pay for the GoPro charger because that was really expensive. Um, so here I have two batteries in this tiny little charger and then underneath the charger I keep the USB plug that it comes with and I just have a little plug um, that I can plug that into when I need to charge those batteries. To go with the GoPro batteries, you think I must have a GoPro, and you would be correct. Uh, this is the GoPro Hero 9, um, and uh, it's it's great for what I need it for. Um, I originally bought it so that I could do POV photography videos, and I have done a few of those. Uh, my most recent being in Photographers in the Wild, which was a video I released in September. If you haven't seen that, it was a really fun video that I recorded with my friend Max and I recommend it 100%. It was a great video for me to film. It was really fun and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, this is the GoPro Hero 9. So next, we're moving on to the last two things in the Cube system and what I have for you is the DJI Mini 2 and the controller. Um, so the DJI Mini 2 is a great little drone, sub 250 grams, so I can fly it anywhere. Um, and it's, it's done me really well, and I only got this uh, April 2022, so I haven't even had it for a year yet, and I feel like I've been flying it forever, um, and it, it's just great for getting those nice shots for B-roll sequences. And then to go with that is the controller, which is actually the same size as the drone, which is absolutely crazy because these drones are just so small, it's amazing how they're able to produce what they do. And that is about it for what's in my camera bag. It's very different to what I had last year. I had hardly anything last year, so it's really exciting for me to make this video. I hope you've all enjoyed watching it. Uh, I love these videos, so I hope you do too. Um, and I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a vlog. Happy New Year and I'll see you later.